Imagine, a phone rings in the middle of the night, an unseen hand reaches for it. It's a forensic social worker called to a crime scene. A forensic social worker's day is anything but predictable. Their role is as unexpected as the phone call that interrupts their sleep. They are the unseen heroes who provide vital support to victims in crisis situations. Every call they receive, every case they handle, is as unique as the individuals involved. The work of a forensic social worker is multifaceted, and their involvement begins right from the time a crime has been committed. At a crime scene, they don't just see what's visible to the naked eye. Instead, they view the situation through a lens of compassion, understanding, and empathy. They are the bridge connecting the victim to a world of resources and support. But this job isn't just about the victims. It's also about providing emotional support and counseling to those who are facing a whirlwind of emotions, shock, fear, anger, guilt. It's about giving practical assistance, helping victims find shelter, food, clothing. It's about explaining the intricate workings of the criminal justice process and helping victims understand their rights, and more importantly, how to advocate for themselves. Forensic social workers also extend their support to the victim's family and friends, helping them navigate through this challenging time. They offer trauma-informed care, a specialized service designed to meet the needs of those who have experienced trauma. They help victims formulate safety plans to protect themselves from further harm. They refer victims to other social services and resources that can assist them on their path to recovery. But the work of a forensic social worker isn't all about the scene of the crime. It's also about the emotional toll it takes on the social workers themselves. The job demands a delicate balance of emotional strength and vulnerability, a combination that allows them to connect deeply with those they are helping, yet remain resilient in the face of adversity. The forensic social worker, armed with nothing but their expertise and a desire to help, heads to the scene. Upon arrival, the forensic social worker steps into a scene of chaos. The crime scene is a whirlwind of activity, but amid the turmoil, the social worker remains focused. In this moment, the social worker's training takes over. They navigate through the maelstrom, maintaining a clear head and a steady hand, even in the face of such disarray. Their focus is unyielding, identifying the victim or victims. This is the first crucial step in their duties. As they stride through the scene, they are not alone. Law enforcement officers swarm the area, collecting evidence, documenting the scene, and ensuring its integrity. The forensic social worker liaises with these officers, sharing information and providing input. This collaboration is essential to ensure a comprehensive response to the incident. Identifying the victim is a delicate process. It involves more than just a name. It's about understanding the person, their background, their circumstances. It's about piecing together the fragments of their life to understand the whole picture. It's about finding the human being at the center of the chaos. Once identified, the social worker's focus shifts to the immediate needs of the victim. They assess the physical, emotional, and psychological damage and determine the immediate interventions required. They provide emotional support, crisis counseling, and practical assistance. From finding shelter, food, and clothing to explaining the criminal justice process, the social worker is there, providing a guiding hand through the tumultuous aftermath. But identifying the victim is just one part of the puzzle. The social worker also considers the wider social context. They take into account the victim's family, friends, and community, understanding the ripple effects of the crime, and planning interventions accordingly. The social worker's role doesn't stop here. They refer the victim to other social services and resources, ranging from therapy and support groups to financial assistance programs. They help the victim navigate these resources, ensuring they receive the appropriate care and support. Identification of the victim is just the start. Now, the real work begins. With the victim identified, the forensic social worker springs into action. An action plan begins to form. The first priority is providing emotional support and crisis counseling. The victim may be experiencing a whirlwind of emotions, shock, fear, anger, guilt. The forensic social worker is there, a beacon in the storm, providing comfort and helping the victim process these complex emotions. But emotional support is just the beginning. Practical assistance is often required, as the victim may need help with immediate needs like finding shelter, food, and clothing. The forensic social worker is not only a counselor, but also a guide, helping the victim navigate the difficult terrain of accessing the resources they need. 
And then there's the labyrinth that is the criminal justice process. It can be intimidating, confusing, and often overwhelming. But the forensic social worker is the victim's advocate, explaining the process, clarifying their rights, and empowering them to stand up for themselves within this complex system. But what about after the immediate crisis has passed? That's where referrals to other social services and resources come into play. Whether it's therapy, support groups, or financial assistance programs, the forensic social worker is the link, connecting the victim to the services that will help them in the long run. In certain cases, the forensic social worker may provide more specialized services. For instance, they may assist the victim in developing a safety plan to protect themselves from further harm. They may provide trauma-informed care, a type of care specifically designed to meet the needs of people who have experienced trauma. And let's not forget the victim's family and friends who may also require support. Every case is different, and the services that the forensic social worker provides will vary depending on the individual needs of the victim. But one thing remains constant, the unwavering dedication of the forensic social worker, always ready to step in, always ready to help. Armed with knowledge, resources, and compassion, the forensic social worker sets the wheels in motion. Success in forensic social work is not always easy to define. It's not about solving the crime, but about helping the victim navigate the aftermath. In the complex and often challenging world of forensic social work, success isn't measured by the number of cases closed or perpetrators brought to justice. Instead, it's gauged by the positive impact made on the lives of those affected by crime. Let's delve into some of the indicators of success in this field. First and foremost, we have the victim's understanding of their rights. A forensic social worker plays a crucial role in educating the victim about the criminal justice process. This includes explaining their rights, helping them understand what to expect, and guiding them on how to advocate for themselves. When a victim gains the knowledge and confidence to navigate this complex system, that's a clear sign of success. Next, we have access to resources. Victims often need assistance with practical matters such as finding shelter, food, and clothing. They may also require referrals to other social services and resources such as therapy, support groups, and financial assistance programs. When the forensic social worker can help the victim to access these resources, they've made a significant stride towards success. Finally, we consider the overall well-being of the victim. This could include their emotional stability, safety, and their ability to heal and rebuild their lives after the incident. Providing emotional support, crisis counseling, safety planning, and trauma-informed care are all key facets of the forensic social worker's role. When a victim begins to regain their emotional footing, to feel safe again, and to start healing from their trauma, the forensic social worker can rightfully say they've been successful. Remember, every case is unique, every victim's needs are different and thus the measures of success can vary it's the forensic social workers adaptability and dedication that truly makes the difference every victim aided every life touched is a testament to the success of the forensic social worker the field of forensic social work is not for the faint of heart it requires resilience compassion and a deep understanding of human behavior this is a profession that demands a unique blend of skills and qualities these are the very same qualities that set forensic social workers apart in the vast realm of social work. To venture into this challenging yet immensely rewarding field, you'll need a bachelor's degree in social work, psychology, or a related field. But it doesn't stop there. A master's degree in social work, coupled with specialized training in forensics, is often required. On top of that, a license to practice social work in your respective state is a must. But beyond the academic qualifications, there's a lot more to being a forensic social worker. You need to be emotionally robust to handle the harsh realities of crime scenes and the heart-wrenching stories of victims. You need to be a good listener to provide the much-needed emotional support. You need to be an effective communicator to explain complex legal procedures to victims and their families. You need to be resourceful to help victims access the services they need to heal and rebuild their lives. The challenges are real and they are many, the work can be emotionally draining, the hours can be long, and the situations can be dangerous. But amidst these challenges, the rewards are profound. There's the fulfillment that comes from helping a victim reclaim their life after a traumatic experience. 
There's the satisfaction of seeing a family regain their stability. There's the joy of knowing that your work is making a real difference in people's lives. Forensic social work is not just a job. It's a calling. It's about stepping into the chaos, bringing order, providing support, and lighting the path towards healing and justice. It's about being a beacon of hope in the most despairing situations. If you have the courage to step into the chaos and the compassion to guide victims through their darkest hours, consider a career in forensic social work. The world needs more heroes.